Hi, I'm Marie Calloway Kellner and a board member of the Idaho Environmental Forum. And I want to thank everyone for joining us for this forum short today. The Idaho Environmental Forum is a nonprofit, nonpartisan educational association whose sole mission is to promote serious, cordial, and respectful dialogue about relevant natural resource issues to Idaho. Just like Virtually everything these days, we pivoted to an online format during COVID and we're pleased to be able to have the technology to reach out to our members and supporters and even folks that aren't familiar with the Idaho Environmental Forum. And I certainly encourage you to, if you're interested in what we talk about today and in different Idaho Environmental Forum issues, please um, share the link to this video with friends and family and others that you think might be interested as well. And I'd also like to give a big shout out to our sponsors. The IEF is able to continue and to do all the things that we ever do because of the, the, the generosity of our sponsors. So thank you so much to our sponsors. All of our sponsors can be found on our website, which is IdahoEnvironmentalForum.org. And we have a new and improved website just in the last week. So please check it out with our new logo and all sorts of um, archived information, as well as information about things that are coming up. Today, we are fortunate to be joined by Steve Hubble. Steve is the City of Boise's Climate Action Manager. Steve's been with the city for about five years in a variety of roles with the Department of Public Works. Um, he came on as the, oh, excuse me, he came on as the Stormwater Manager and moved into a role as the Energy Future Project Manager. Prior to joining the public work staff with the city of Boise, Steve worked for the Stafford County, Virginia. That's correct, Steve? That's right. Stafford County's um, Department of Public Works, and that's a, uh, a suburban area outside DC in Virginia. We're so thankful to have you here today, Steve. Thanks so much. And, um, and it's today now, but when people watch this, it could be evening or morning or <laughs> a day or any other time, the weekend, the beauty of a digital format and an online format. But Thanks for joining us. Yeah, good afternoon, Marie. Uh, yeah. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for uh, the opportunity to talk a bit about the city's programs. We're excited to be here. Yeah, well, it's great. Well, we uh, on the you may know this or may not, but the Idaho Environmental Forum on our board, we we have a variety of people that work in a variety of arenas, both you know, for profit, government, nonprofit, all somehow touching into the world of natural resources in Idaho. And when it was announced that the city had a new climate action plan and was starting officially starting a climate action division, of which you are the the chief, the manager, uh, it was something that piqued the interest of multiple members of the board. And in fact, one person sent an email, as we often do, with, hey, have you seen this? Do people know about this? And immediately, numerous other board members wrote in and said, yes, this is a perfect thing because this is so relevant to, to the IEF community and, and the kind of thing that people are interested in. So really appreciate you coming here. And just wondered if we could get right into it and if you could tell us why the new Climate Action Division was formed. Well, sure, Marie, thanks again uh, for having us. Uh, you know, we're really excited here about the Climate Action Division. Uh, the mayor, uh, city council, and city government have placed a, a high importance on these activities over the last couple of years um, within our organization, certainly. And this is really an opportunity to take the exciting news, um, emphasize it, and pivot some of these climate-related activities um, out into the community as well. So what we, what's happened is we've taken a couple existing staff, uh, generally that were working on issues related to climate, and then formed them into the Climate Action Division within Public Works. And as I mentioned, it gives us an opportunity to really emphasize the importance of climate action, uh, to consolidate um, our skill set and staffing around this particular issue, and really to start to serve as a voice uh, both internally and externally about the importance of climate action and the work that we're doing. So what, what will the Climate Action Division do? Sure. So I think primarily the Climate Action Division will develop and frame uh, the city's action around uh, climate policy for the consideration by the mayor and city council. Uh, and then in addition, we will implement uh, new climate initiatives going forward, and as well as continue to uh, implement all of the existing activities that the members of our team have worked on 
um, throughout their careers around energy, air quality, sustainability, and then climate, which will be the core functions of our team and, and our specific staff. And then in addition to that, we'll really have an opportunity to serve as uh, advisors or perhaps uh, stretch to use the word um, consultants for other programs across the city because uh, admittedly, uh, many of the climate related actions across city government are, are implemented in other groups through core, core programs, whether it be our, our materials and recycling and compost programs or our water renewal programs or our transportation oriented programs. So we'll, we'll be the, uh, the backup for them and, and the experts to, to ensure that climate action um, is enhanced and uh, is, is a part of their operations as well. All right. And are you working from a plan? I feel like there's a climate action plan, perhaps, or are you creating one that that sort of guides the work that you're doing? Uh, I, I, absolutely. We are right now, actually. And, and just for the audience, um, climate action planning is, is really a core part of municipal uh, activity as we look both nationally and internationally as to how cities work around this particular issue. So um, that is a priority for Boise going forward. So we are currently developing a, a climate action plan or, or framework or roadmap. We haven't totally zeroed in on the name that we're gonna use, but uh, that is actively going on amongst our team doing some of the internal uh, technical work currently. And that'll really help us do a couple of things. As I mentioned with the formation of the division, it'll, it'll help us set up an umbrella of climate action uh, throughout the city and across our programs. Uh, the, other, the other most important thing that it'll do is it'll help identify what the city's goals for climate action or becoming carbon neutral or reducing greenhouse gas emissions for our community. Uh, it'll also help us identify how we're going to implement uh, the mayor's recently set goal for our city government operations to be carbon neutral by 2035. Mm -hmm. And then in addition, it'll help us uh, guide and prioritize um, certainly a lot of our near-term actions and the work that our group uh, does uh, going forward. Do you have some, do you all have some specific goal set toward energy and climate? Like that, that are like the initial goals that you're working toward? Or, and I guess maybe a related but slightly different question might be, are there some specific examples of the kind of work and programs that and initiatives that your team will support or implement that you could share with us? Uh, definitely. So back in 2019, the city developed our clean energy transition plan, Boise's Energy Future. And that set clean energy transition goals for our uh, organization, so city government, and for the community at large. So um, the plan set a goal for 100% clean electricity by 2035 for our community. So all the residents and businesses in Boise, and um, certainly we look forward to working uh, together with our utility partners and the community to achieve that. And then as an opportunity for city government to demonstrate leadership there, um, our goal was set a little quicker at 2030. So okay. we're currently working um, towards both of those. And, um, you know, in, in Boise, we, we took on the energy work first. Um, some communities will start with sort of an overall uh, climate planning process and then um, get more specific, um, maybe, maybe thinking about top-down work. We've worked a little bit bottom up. So those energy goals and the goals that we developed there will support our climate action planning work. And when we um, talk about greenhouse gas emissions, um, energy and how we use energy in the community uh, is a big part of that discussion. And then, as I mentioned just a minute ago, um, the mayor set a carbon neutral goal for 2035 for uh, city government operations also. And we anticipate the climate action plan will set a uh, comparable or similar goal uh, for the entire community. Yeah. All right. Um, you mentioned greenhouse gases, which of course are a, a big issue within climate and a big um, part of what we're trying to curb as a society. What are some of the city's largest emitters of greenhouse gases, or where does the where do our biggest contributions come from? Yeah, that's. Uh, 
Uh, we just uh, we were excited to just release our greenhouse gas emissions inventory on our website. So Boise Climate Action. Anybody who wants to uh, Google that can see those out there. Uh, we've done greenhouse gas inventories back as far as 2000, but they were kind of more a technical tool that stayed behind the scenes and helped inform some of our programs. So we're excited to get those out there. But uh, again, we've developed those uh, similar to what many other cities do. We use approved protocols for cities to develop those inventories. Uh, but generally, uh, when we think about our community, there's, there's three key sources of greenhouse gas emissions that we measure. Uh, the first is, is from the energy that we use in the built environment. And those primarily come from fossil fuels that are used to power our electricity and the natural gas usage that we have in our community. So um, those help us keep the lights on, uh, keep our houses warm and cooled in the <laughs> summer. Uh, but obviously that's uh, something we wanna think about transitioning as we go forward. Um, with our climate action uh, processes to reduce uh, the use of fossil fuels where we can um, in those sources. In addition to that sort of built environment energy, we also use fossil fuels in our transportation system. So another significant source of emissions are, um, are emissions from our transportation sources. So that's our on-road vehicles. So the cars that we all drive, assuming they're not electric, uh, off-road vehicles, so that could be things like uh, dirt bikes or ATVs or heavy equipment, those type of things, and then uh, also emissions from air travel and from airplanes. And then the third um, are the emissions associated with our waste and our landfilling. So obviously the materials that we throw away um, go into the landfill and there is a uh, emissions impact of that that we measure. It's a pretty small portion um, compared to the other two. Okay. And then on the smaller scale, we also do an emissions inventory um, for a city government that brings in a few different factors, but is generally similar to the larger effort for the community. Okay. And so is it fair to say that part of what the climate action team and the division will work on are way, essentially ways to curb all of those uses or the emissions related to all of those uses? That, yeah, that's that's one key part of what we'll do. And then, uh, you know, certainly uh, there are some uh, parts of that usage where we are on a good path, I think, towards um, reducing carbon, like in our electricity system. And then there are others like our transportation system where that um, that fuel replacement or that transition is probably a little more challenging. It'll play, off, play out over a slightly longer period of time. But but exactly, that's what we hope to do with that climate action plan um, framework is help identify how we're going to tower and tackle those things going forward. Awesome. And just for everybody's edification, the division officially kicked off when? So I guess we formally started with, with uh, our new budget year on October 1st. Uh, but I think it's important to recall that uh, and to share that uh, the staff in, in my team, uh, many have been working here for several years, um, some working on uh, our, our core programs for as long as um, 20 plus years. And I think the city's been very active, uh, particularly in energy efficiency, in renewable energy, in looking at um, electric vehicles and supporting infrastructure, uh, definitely for the last five, uh, maybe 10 years. So. Um, we're no strangers to this work, but we're really excited to uh, have it elevated and, and support um, the importance of this topic uh, from our mayor and, and city council. Yeah. So just moving forward, moving the ball forward. That's Talk right. Yeah. Work as a relay. We we move it. We just keep moving forward, ideally, on goals that are really important as a system. Right. That reminds me of one final question I had for you. Do we have any um, peer cities or communities around the country that um, that are also implementing similar plans? Or can you think of any or any that you're looking at to, um, to help Boise plan its climate future? Sure. Uh, you know, we are very fortunate. Uh, we participate with a great group. Uh, it's called the Urban Sustainability Directors Network. And that's a peer network of, of city staff like myself 
who work together across the United States and Canada on a wide range of sustainability issues, certainly climate and, and clean energy, but also things like waste and, and green infrastructure and just a wide variety of issues. And uh, the network is really a, a tremendous source of information. So um, we find great ideas from cities, both large uh, our size, and then in some cases, uh, small cities. So uh, we're really encouraged by a lot of the work um, that's going on out there. Certainly um, in the climate and energy space, a, a lot of uh, active work in the Northwest. So we certainly keep an eye on what's um, going on there. A lot of good work going down in, in Salt Lake City. So certainly as kind of a close peer and a similar city to Boise, we keep an eye on the work they're doing, um, some of the some of the cities in the front range in Colorado, like Denver and Fort Collins. But uh, we're not choosy. We'll take good ideas from from wherever we can get them and and hope to replicate them. And then I think it's important to share that uh, you know Boise is really we're really cutting edge and leading on some issues, particularly in in water renewal, which I know is. Yeah. Uh, familiar to you through some of your work. So we also take uh, that group as an opportunity to share the good work um, that we're doing in our various programs and uh, and learn and uh, help us all get to where we where we hope to be. Yeah. Well, Steve, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing about what you're doing and thanks for doing what you're doing. Um, it's an exciting time for Boise. It's an exciting time for all of us. Um, yeah, great. Thank, thanks, Marie. Um, just, uh, just a note for all the viewers out there. Yeah. Um, keep an eye on our on our website or our social media channels, certainly for updates around our um, near term work. We'll be uh, sharing some of that information out when the time is right or periodically going forward. And uh, we really appreciate the opportunity to, to be part of the forum today. Great. Awesome. So it's boiseclimateaction.gov. I'm assuming it's a .gov. Is it Probably the easiest is just to Google Boise Climate Action rather than trying to remember our, oh. uh, our sometimes lengthy websites. But uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, a, that's a good jump off point. But Boise Climate Action will get, get somebody there. That'll get, that'll get you started. Great. Well, thanks again, Steve. We really appreciate your time and we appreciate the work that you're doing. And thanks for sharing with the Idaho Environmental Forum community all about it. And hopefully we'll be able to follow up in the future and learn more about where the division's moving and what some of the new goals are as they evolve. That sounds great, Marie. Great. And I want to thank everyone for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. Please, speaking of uh, websites, please run by idahoenvironmentalforum.org, but you could also just search Idaho Environmental Forum and it will come up. Um, to check out our new website and logo. And also, if you are so inclined, please know that we would appreciate you signing up as a member of the forum, as well as we always welcome sponsorships and donations. It is through the generosity of our sponsors and members that uh, IEF is able to continue. And, um, and we look forward to a time when we can all be together in person again. But until then, we thank you for being here. We thank our sponsors and we hope everybody stays safe and healthy.